What's up guys? Today is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to all you guys. Um, I realized last night while I was at one of my family Christmases that uh, I have a problem and I cannot stop thinking about fish. I literally was on my cell phone reading things on fish at my family Christmas. I was watching someone else's live stream on fish. It is very apparent I have a problem and today before we get out of the house and go to the other family side, I told my wife, hey, I need to get into the fish room and just kind of do my thing for a little while or I'm going to go nuts. So I'm doing a water change on the tank here and uh, actually let's flip the cam and take a look. All right, so this tank was way overdue for a cleaning and that's why I have my little DIY pump in there because when tanks get past or overdue of a cleansing, when you go in to do a cleaning, it, 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 it turns into a complete mess. And essentially all that pump is, is it has a little canister with some polyfill on this. I've been talking a lot about it, mainly because so many people have been asking me, God, this cat just keeps, what does it mean when a cat like nurses on your hand like this? This is crazy. It never stops wanting to do this. Like, I don't know. It's also, today's video does have a topic because I have a topic for every video and uh, it is on the dovi. A lot of people are always asking me, um, you know, Chris, why don't you keep dovi? And I have tons of videos on the dovi because I've been completely obsessed with them and I've actually kept one before, but it, uh, it outgrew its tank and I had to get rid of it. And it's just, you know, this video is on how big do dovis get and that's the reason I don't have one right now they can grow up to 24 inches two feet guys two feet um, let's take a look at some monster dovi and uh, this is an eye-opener if you're thinking about getting a dovi we're talking a big tank guys I don't want to preach I am a tank size Nazi I don't want to go down that wormhole right now but um, I, in my personal opinion, 300 gallons and above for a fish like this. <sighs> Let's take a look at some beautiful dovi. All right, here is a beast of a dovi, AKA the wolf cichlid. And I have such a passion for the Parachromis family. When I just see this fish, I'm absolutely in love. Look at, he has one little, he has one little tooth kind of poking out there. It's ridiculous. I can't remember whose fish this is. I apologize. I wish I could give you some credit, but I'm always having people sending me vids of their dovi. And uh, it, I mean, these fish, it, it's probably in the top three most aggressive fish you can keep in an aquarium. I would say the dovi, the snakehead, and then the wolf cichlid maybe as number one. But as far as growth rate or uh, growth size, these things are actually pretty fast growers. It is said that they will grow one, one inch per month until they hit that 12 inch span and then they kind of slow down again. And then you have to kind of uh, concentrate on good, good diet and good water parameters. Also, I have a lot of people message me uh, with problems of their juvenile dovi being super timid. I, I sometimes advise people to keep other cichlids with them until they, they get a little growth on them because it helps kind of get them out of their shell. I've faced this problem with a lot of the Parachromas fish and a lot of times all they will do is hide unless you put another fish in there to kind of help get them out of their shell and kind of blast that aggression a little bit. So um, I, I absolutely adore these fish, they are amazing. One more thing before we go, a couple people have trolled in the comment section, there is a red Texas in that tank and you actually saw it earlier in this video. It's vintage is all nipped up and it, it basically takes turns going from different tanks and it doesn't take long for it to, to fight with some other fish, but he's been in that tank for about a month now and he's healing up quite well. I don't know, I'm just, uh, the trolling comments sort of bothered me, so I figured I would just touch base with that. If you're wondering, maybe you saw that Red Texas in there, he's about yay long. And even at that size, uh, I usually have really good luck keeping juveniles in community tanks because they're just not, uh, they haven't matured yet. They don't really know, like uh, they haven't hit that aggressive stage yet, or more aggressive stage. Anyways, Dovi, growth size these things get massive let me know what your opinion is on keeping dovi a lot of like people are so passionate about the parachromis uh family of fish and i think a lot of people target me because i'm a huge parachromis fan and jake jake cichlids are my favorite fish um, I gotta keep an eye on that water change. So I'm just kind of uh, whipping together a video here. 
Uh, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. If you're watching this and it isn't, and it isn't Christmas, go screw yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, uh, my wife just heated me up some leftovers from yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna go gobble them down. I got the Mountain Dew in my system. I'm ready to go, guys.